back to another episode of Minority Report featuring Black-owned businesses. And I am your host, Lachelle Smith. Happy, happy. That's the only word that I could use to describe how I feel right now. I'm so excited. One, to be back <laughs> with you guys. I have not done an interview in a minute and I'm so hyped. <laughs> I'm so hyped. Thank you for tuning in. Every single one of you, you guys are so dope. Before I even get started, if you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give this video a great big thumbs up. No matter what platform you're watching me on, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on Instagram, go ahead, like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment. We are about to get into this. I have one of the dopest brands <laughs> being featured on my platform today, fresh from Shark Tank, is Miss Intasar Bashir of brown digits okay and if you don't know what brown digits is baby by the time we get finished you gonna know okay <laughs> you gonna know exactly what brown digits is sis how are you doing i am doing well i'm doing well still kind of on a high you okay. know but i'm doing well we're we're trying to you know push this brand forward and continue Absolutely. with the you know the path that we have going for ourselves right now for those who do not know, Brownages is literally a flesh tone, a flesh skin toned color uh, bandage. Okay, I don't want to use the 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 copywritten name, but it's it's a bandage, right. um, and it is again, a, it's a bandage that matches your skin tone. Something that we've needed. Um, the I'll say this, and this is a fun fact if you did not know this, but um, the major leading company that makes bandages, um, they now have started since brownages has become a thing um they now offer flesh tone bandages but it took them a hundred years to do it the company has been in business for over 100 it took them a hundred years to finally offer flesh tone bandages and it is only because of of uh intasar and her husband it's only because of what they've done that other brands have now decided like oh yeah why didn't we think of that first but we are not going to push them by the time <laughs> this interview is over you are going to you're going to want to go and grab some Brownages. Yes. I, first of all, I love the name. Um, this is a brand you. that I, I featured before um, in my Black Owned Business coupon book. So I'm very familiar with the brand. And every time I see other brands being promoted, I'm like, uh-uh, let me go on here <laughs> with my Twitter fingers <laughs> and tag Brownages and put them on. But you made it all the way to Shark Tank. Okay, so if you haven't, if you're watching this, but you have not seen the Shark Tank episode, it is streaming on Hulu, Amazon Prime, and iTunes. So you can go on either one of those platforms and uh, rewatch the episode. Um, you were able to walk away with a significant deal that is going to help you with your marketing, uh, your distribution. Uh, you got, what is it, 25% stake in your company that's going to be split three ways, or was it 22%? I think it's twenty two. I think it's twenty. I think it's twenty two. Yeah, because I think it's like seven, 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 something seven, like seven, that. Seven, yeah. Right. So it's about twenty two point five percent being split between uh, Damon, Lori, and Mark. Um, and everybody was offering different ways to like help you. So you, they're talking about partnering with Kuji. Uh, and if I, I might be dating myself for people who don't know what Kuji is, <laughs> I do. Look, I know what Kuji is. <laughs> you not by yourself. So. It's, thank you. Okay, so par, uh, par, branding partnering with Kuji with Fubu, um, the Dallas Mavericks, um, getting you into box stores, and they gave you a line of credit. I mean, it was way more than what you went into it hoping and expecting to get. But when you're in that moment, talk to me, sis, and tell me exactly how you feel. Like I saw there there was a, a, a camera where they were able to capture the magic in that moment. But what is going through your head as the sharks are debating back and forth as to what they want to offer you and what's profitable and, and what's not? What's going through your mind? Um. Well, first, like it's, it's it's a longer negotiation than what they actually like show on mm -hmm. television you mm -hmm. know they chop it up and make it look all right. like good and stuff like that but you know it, it was a lot more when you first go in there it's mm -hmm. like you, you do your pitch you give your spiel or whatever like that and so that's really like the nerve-wracking part because you mm -hmm. know you've been rehearsing it for mm -hmm. months and stuff mm -hmm. like that and you're like ah, oh, you know but after that it's just it's literally a conversation between you and these potential investors right. so it's like you're, you're selling your company. So mm -hmm. 
it's like once you make your pitch and you see someone has interest you like okay let me zone in on him or her you know like that and so it's just like you're trying to think on your feet and give like the facts give them the numbers because they're asking you like it's rapid date, fire you know, questions you yeah and you're like okay I, i've been practicing for this so you're mm-hmm. you're just trying to make sure you're on point and give like accurate information mm-hmm. um but also like you said like sell your business like you're there to like make a deal and right. if you don't sell your business then they walk away you may never may not get a deal so I, I can only imagine, like, it, like I said, it was, there were a few times where the, the camera kind of shot to you and it's like, I could see the excitement in your face, but you were trying so hard <laughs> to keep it together. And I'm like, they're really fighting. And I'm, I'm rooting for you, right? I'm rooting like, yes, girl. Yes. Get this money, get this money. But yeah, there were some times and I can only imagine like being in the studio with lights, camera, action. And you, like you said, you, you've rehearsed this, you know, your numbers, but the, the pressure is really, really on and nobody wants to walk away with nothing and you were able to walk away with not one not two but three different investors so like now now that you know now you're behind the scenes now now you have to do all of the follow-up how has this impacted your your business your your professional life your marriage what how is this you know is it i clearly is going to change for the better but what what are you going through right now like right now we are just trying to like figure out the next what's next and Mm -hmm. what's best for us because you know like with with the exposure came a lot of like an influx of offers and emails and stuff Mm -hmm. like that of people you know wanting to help invest or whatever their niche may be Mm -hmm. you know what I mean so it's just a matter of filtering through a lot of that stuff and figuring out what would be in line with our mission Mm -hmm. and will help elevate our company. So it's just like, okay, you know, it was, it was a crazy influx of emails. And I was like, normally I'm the person who does the email. And so it's like, I'm that email. I don't like having unread messages in my inbox. So I'm like, as soon as it comes in, no, I need to respond. But it was like, whoa, like I can't respond to all of these messages Mm -hmm. within a day, within two days, within a week or Mm -hmm. two. So Mm -hmm. I'm still going through a lot of them. Um, just trying to, you know, give the people th- their time, you, you know, that even if it's mm-hmm. just was people emailing us saying like, congratulations, mm-hmm. I'm so proud of you guys. Like, I want to respond to every single one of those because mm-hmm. it's like, you took the time out of your day to send me these kind words and I can, the least I could do is respond thank you, with right. a thank you or something like that. So it's just like, it's taken a lot longer than I would want it to Mm -hmm. but it's like I'm one person so I'm just trying to you know get through it and um you know show the appreciation to our our consumers our customers our our supporters just like they they've shown to us so that's incredible well I'm just grateful that Minority Report made the cut my email got responded to Yes, yes, so, I, always. so I'm grateful. So I'm grateful for that. I made the cut. I'm, 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 I'm I feel like I'm team bromages. So I'm, I made yes. the cut. My email got responded to. So now, like one of the things that I, that the sharks were saying, major business worthy of investment was this in diversity and inclusion because it's brownages and not blackages or you know blackity black band-aids or something you know right, because right. it wasn't that um they felt as though that that was something definitely worthy of the investment but i want to hear from you like how what what are your terms as far as diversity and in and inclusion and in creating a brand that's inclusive to everyone who has melanin yeah yeah definitely so i think our initial thoughts behind the business mm-hmm. we're definitely geared toward black people right. you know what I mean mm-hmm. like that that's that's us we are them so it was it was to fill a void within our community mm-hmm. but right. you know in the over the four years that we've been running this company mm-hmm. like we realized like it's not first of all we're we're not what's the word that people use we're, like we're not a monolith you know what I mean like we right. we're we're everywhere we're everywhere Absolutely. and, and and this business has been proved to us that because we've gotten um, orders from all over the world, mm-hmm. like from, from Belgium, a- Amsterdam, the Netherlands, like Sweden, like, you know what I mean? Like places that you wouldn't automatically assume like, 
Uh, but oh, there's brown okay. people over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's so just over like, there. What? Yeah. Exactly. Like Sweden? Like mm-hmm. what? Okay. If, if you say so. So it's just like, it's been eye opening and like humbling to know that our brand is not only filling a void within our direct community, mm-hmm. but within the, the whole diaspora of black and brown people. Like we've like with this exposure, we've gotten emails from people in India mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. like, you know what, like we need this product here right here and mm-hmm. so it's just like to know that we can fill a void for like the 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 people in india or the people in like uh in the caribbean and stuff like that because mm-hmm. we've gotten emails from there it's just like okay it's not just us it's this is something us. that is needed within the whole diaspora of black and brown people so it's just right. like it it was um it's it's exciting to think of you know how many voids we can fill around the world. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I get uh, comments, not bad, you know, but sometimes people question why I named the platform Minority Report when globally we're a majority. But when it comes to uh, entrepreneurship, ownership, we are a minority. I'm looking at dollars and cents. I'm not necessarily looking at global population, but that is the truth here in in the u.s yes we only make up 13 roughly 13 maybe 13.2 um percent but globally around the world we definitely outnumber those people who don't have or don't have nearly as much melanin as we do so it does not surprise me whatsoever that you are getting contacted from every corner of of the earth and i want this platform to be able to help you reach those people okay and sell 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 in preparing for this interview i do a lot of research and i did see that um there is a major medical supply company that is just now starting to sell flesh tone band-aids and or bandages because i know that that's a market that you want to get into what are you doing um mentally strategically to prepare to compete with these businesses that have been you know functioning operating and profitable for longer than either of us have been alive what's the plan look like for that um well slowly but surely we're trying to um use whatever contacts that we have that, that's that's one of my goals in responding to all of these emails because mm-hmm. you never know who that person knows and who Absolutely. they can put you in contact mm-hmm. with like i I, w- I was on the call last week with a, a gentleman that was um i guess i can say it like he he worked for bt right and but he has ties to jamaica mm-hmm. and so like that's that's a that's a it's a plug. It's another source. Yeah, that's a Absolutely. plug. You know I mean, like he, him knowing the the minister of health over there is gonna, and just by me taking, you know, that quick thirty minute call with him, responding to his emails, that's opened up a whole nother market. So it's like, since we are so small, and it's literally like the two of us, mm-hmm. it's like nothing is. I don't want to say beneath us, you know what I mean? But it's like, we have no problem interfacing, interacting with anybody because mm-hmm. it's like just extending, you know, uh, the kindness of taking a call, taking a meeting with somebody that, I mean, they don't have to be anybody from a major publication. They don't even have to be from a publication. Like right. we've been contacted, like I said, from random individuals and in, on different continents that are interested in being the distributor for their country, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And it's like, by taking those emails, responding to those emails, setting up these calls, it, it's, I, it might be, you know, a, a way in. And, mm-hmm. and like, we have no problem, you know what I mean, extending our, our little bit of time and our energy, having these conversations with these people mm-hmm. that I'm sure that the big box people aren't like in their inbox Mm -hmm. responding to you know um small like I also had a call last week with a um a a healthcare system that's Mm -hmm. like based here in Ohio Mm -hmm. and I'm like okay okay I'm more than um, honored to be um to let this healthcare system that's based in Ohio 
be our first venture into having our products in a medical facility. Mm -hmm, You know what I mean? mm -hmm. Um, Whereas, you know, maybe the bigger companies aren't, you know, paying attention to the emails or the needs of these smaller health systems. You know, they might want to jump up to the large ones, but like we, we have no problem. Like Mm -hmm. it's not, it, yeah. So that now have the, you have the cash to be able to provide the, the distribution that, that you need to get into these different areas. So I know that um, you were, you're very interested in getting into schools, into daycares, um, into healthcare systems. And I firmly believe that you're going to be able to do that. There's no doubt in, in my mind, but I'm hearing you say that as part of your, stra- your strategy is just simply being responsive to anyone who reaches out to you. Can you give anyone who's an entrepreneur right now that's interested in, you know, making that leap? Can you give them three tips? You know, what like what are your three business tips? Okay, one, well, make, let's count down to two. One is just simply being responsive to whoever, you know, reaches out to you. You never know that if that one email or that one text message, that one inbox, that one phone call can, you know, take your business from good to great. So give me two more business tips for anyone who's uh, struggling in their business or, you know, might be doing well, but there might be something that they have overlooked and you can give them just a little bit of insight. Um, I would say one tip that I have is like, if it's, if it's, a uh, something that you're passionate about, mm-hmm. like stick with it, no matter the naysayers, no matter the supporters, like your, your main support system doesn't have to be like your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother. Like if you have an idea, like stick with it and you'll find your community out mm-hmm. there. Like it doesn't have to be, you know, the homegrown one that you were born and raised with, right. but somebody right. out there will see the importance in what you're doing and they will help you. They will support you. So like, don't give up. You'll mm-hmm. find your community. And once you do like stick with them, stick That's with right. them, like, yeah, like, right um, out, don't, who's like, right now don't, with you. Won't, you know, throw them to the wayside when somebody who right. you think is bigger and better comes along, like stick with your community, the people who were there with you from the start Absolutely. and just like put your head down and work like it's not this entrepreneurial thing is it's it's not for the faint of heart. It is not. It's <laughs> not like you you're going to be tired, um, but it's like when it's something that you're passionate Mm -hmm. about and it's something that you love, like you're going to do the work. It's not going to feel like work. It's Mm -hmm. not going to be hard for, for you to, you know, dedicate your time and energy to. So yeah. Was that two? Uh, We're going to say it's two. two. Because I want to backtrack just a little bit. I know that we're, we're constantly saying, you know, brownages, you know, uh, healthcare like bandages and things like that but i know that that's not the only thing you offer you have the skin tone bandages but then you also have the character bandages and you have first aid kits um yeah talk more about everything that you offer okay okay so yes even though our our flesh tone bandages are like our 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 flagship product and Mm -hmm. stuff like that like we want to be the first brand you think of first when you think of first kit aid first aid so Mm -hmm. we want to uh, be able to continuously add all of the products that our community will need in the first care industry. So we have, um, like you said, we have our first aid kit. It's a beautiful kit. It has like literally everything that you could possibly think of that you would need. Um, We have a 100% all natural healing balm. We have our children's line of bandages, which were inspired by our children. Mm -hmm. And the characters are actually um, designed or drawn in their likeness. And they are meant to be inspiration to children because Mm -hmm. the bandages that you know that you could purchase at the stores that had the images on it, they were like the princesses and superheroes. Mm -hmm. One, they didn't Mm -hmm. look like my kids. Two, my kids can grow up to be a superhero or a princess. I'm sorry, we wasn't born into that. You know what I mean? Right. Um, So it's like we decided to make characters that look like them that were in actual professions that they can grow aspire and attain so we have veterinarians we have a chef we have a pilot we have an astronaut we have a firewoman we have a Mm -hmm. judge we have a scientist like there's so many things that our children can become right and it just is that much easier for them to see themselves becoming that 
if they can see themselves right. in those characters. Mm -hmm. So that, that was our goal with our children's line of bandages is to actually inspire children by seeing themselves in those images. Now we have a brand that is very much reflective of the culture, but also inspiring, you know, children to what the possibilities for them in the future could, could be. For your global community, since you are getting those emails and, and messages from Sweden and India and the Caribbean, from throughout the diaspora, tell us, you know, one, how can we continue to support you? What else do you need from us besides just, you know, buying product and, you know, like, share, comment. Um, and then where can we get, we want the antiseptic, we want the, the, the bandages, we want the eighth bandages, we want the first aid kit, we want hand sanitizer. Okay, first off, you can get all of our products on our website, www.brownages.com. Um, everything's there. Everything we have to offer, you can get it from our website. Um, on our website, we also have locations where we have a few um, independent stores around okay. the country that sell our products. So you can check and see if anything's close by to you. Or if not, always brownages.com. Um, and what we need is, so so we feel like our products are essential products in life. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like we're mm -hmm. not out here recreating the wheel or anything like right. that. At the end of the day, people need bandages. People need um, ointments for their cuts. People need ace, um, wrap, elastic wraps, you know, when you sprain yes. an ankle or whatever yes. like that. So all of our products are essential products in life that most people are going to have in their homes or whatnot. So what we need is just the exposure. Share share our company um, with your your family and friends. Like mm -hmm. let them know, like, hey, there is a black owned, black founded brand out there that is providing all of these things that you mm -hmm. need. Like, if you're gonna buy them anyways, might as well buy might them from well us. Buy, right. So just like you know, like that. And then we also um, found what a good conversation starter is. Like you had highlighted earlier, the the go to name that people use when they're referring to bandages are band aid. Like you said, that's a copyrighted business name. Right. You know what I mean? Replace that with brownages. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When, when you say, oh, I need a brownage. And people are going to be like, oh, what's a brownage? And then you're like, well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> well, you I'm glad mean? you asked. <laughs> yes, exactly. Actually, yes. I'll, let, let me tell you what they are. And mm -hmm. then just share our business with yes. people. And just that alone, like, does wonders. Mm -hmm. You'd be so surprised. Like, um, like even if you are not at a point in your life where you can support us by making us, you know, making a purchase, mm -hmm. like tell a friend and then your friend will tell a friend and then you'd be surprised, right. you know, how far that will go. So, you know, just sharing the company goes a long way. So we really do appreciate all of the shares that we get on the different platforms. Like we get emails, like, cause there's a whole group of people who are not on social media. Mm -hmm. Like my mom and my daddy are not on social media. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm sure they, they got grandkids. Like, mm -hmm. so they're buying, you know, all of the bandages and all of the kind of stuff. So it's like word of mouth is still mm -hmm. like, like better than almost anything else. You know what I mean? Because there's so many people out there who don't, you know, partake in the social media. So, you know, physical printed media and word of mouth mm -hmm. media is, is is still essential in spreading the word about our business. Um, Absolutely. So that's why we love getting on platforms like Minority Report because mm -hmm. like you have access to people who like we don't have a YouTube channel, you know what I mean? And this is streaming on YouTube. So right. that publicizes our brand to a, a group of people that we don't have an audience with. So mm -hmm. it's just like any any way that our business can be shared with others. Do it. Go Do it. it. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to, uh, for, for the people who are watching this right now, I'm going to give you a prime example because as soon as this is over, I'm placing my order for some brand, for some brownages. Now, listen, I have family members who are teachers. I know for a fact that they buy their own supplies. I'm shipping some to them. Okay. Your classroom, summer school, homeschool, tutoring, you're going to need some brownages. You're getting some. Uh, my mm -hmm. sister and my brother-in-law um, are coaching soccer this year. Um, I know for a fact my sister, she takes orange slices and all kinds of other goodies. Guess what? Sis going to be out on the field <laughs> with some brownages. That, th those are just, you know, other ways that we can try to help you. I'm, I'm going to push for that. I'm going to encourage my followers to do the same. Intasar, this has been an 
awesome discussion. Again, congratulations on the win. I, you know what? I, I'm hoping to see Brownages in 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 the in stadiums. I'm hoping to see it on on basketballs. I'm hoping to see it in hospitals. I, I mean, this is this is something again, like you said, it's essential. So it's it's bound to happen for you. Keep pushing, keep striving. If you ever get to a place where you feel like nobody supports you, you feel like you hitting a wall, know that minority report is here for you. Um as you begin to roll out new products, come on back. We'll talk about them too. We'll have product to show the whole the whole nine. This is what we're gonna do. So again, uh everybody this is Intasar Bashir of Brownages. I need you to go over to brownages.com. I need you to support them. I need you to buy product. I need you to like, share, subscribe. I need you to comment because that helps with the algorithm. It'll get their um, social media seen more. It'll have help me as well. If you it, the engagement, we need more engagement. Yeah. So we need the engagement. We need you to buy product. We need you to share product. We need you to use that word of mouth. Thank you again, sis. Thank you so much for being a guest on Minority Report. Everybody who tuned in, thank you guys. You know that you are the MVPs. I love every single one of you. Again, please thumbs up this video, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff um, if you haven't done that already. If you ever need to reach out to me, you know you know where to hit me up. MinorityReportTVShow.com. You can also email me info at Minority Report TV Show. That's it for this episode of Minority Report. And I will check you guys out next time. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Oh.